guys, I'm here today again with Anna and this is our final instalment of our little guide to blogging and vlogging series. But sad, it's ending, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Today on Anna's channel is some extra vlogging tips, so I'll link that here and you can go and watch that after this one. Watch this one first. <laughs> this one is some extra tips for blogging and like organisation and things like that. It's kind of, if you've had your blog for a while now and you're thinking, hmm, what, what now? Yeah. Well now, I want to grow it a little bit and just feeling uninspired. This is a few extra tips. A good place to start is to get very organised, which is something that me and Lily are both quite hot on. We are big fans of the notebooks. It's just in our personalities. We're those kind of list-making type of annoying people. Yeah. But seriously, <laughs> if you like are out and about, if you ever come up with blog ideas or anything, just get your phone out. And the amount of time to see Anna on the tube, you get on the tube together and she's like, what are you doing? She's like, writing blog posts for Sunday. What? <laughs> but seriously, if you have an idea and you feel inspired, just go with it. Yeah, definitely. Notes on your phone is awesome for that. And the amount of times that I will wake up just before I'm about to go to sleep, like, you know, when you kind of jolt yourself up and yeah. like, I've just had a good idea for a blog post. Like, so definitely keep a note taking device near you at all times because inspiration can happen anytime. Yeah, and with your notepad, if you do have a notepad, just make a kind of little list routine thing, like we yeah. were talking about in Anna's video with videos, you know, if you need to take blog photos, if you need to write the post, if you need to like add in any links, have a little list and then you can just tick it off as you go, it makes it a little stress free. I actually make my own tick boxes because yeah. that is how Virgo I am. Or Muji do those nice lists with the tick boxes, I like those. Ooh. So yeah, get a notepad, get organised, it makes it a lot more enjoyable I think. Also, you've mentioned this briefly before, promoting your blog posts, but really go for it. I think people <laughs> are scared to kind of promote it, overly promote it, but you have to remember people see a Twitter feed for like seconds, so yeah, tweet about true. it throughout the day, if you, like, no one's going to be annoyed, if you've got a blog post that you're proud of, tell people about it, Yeah. and you can Especially do Facebook that. posts as well, yeah. Facebook is a really good one as well, we tend to not do it so much on Instagram, Instagram's more about just sharing pretty photos, if you've taken a really pretty blog picture that you want to share, it's a good idea to say, hey, this is on my blog today. And also on Instagram, definitely make sure your blog link is linked up on your Instagram because I think I get quite a few people coming to say hello from there. Yeah, and with Facebook, the post that you put on Facebook, if you have a page or if it's on your personal page, it shows up on people's home feed. So add a nice big image as well. And yeah. It'll kind of get people's attention. Put your link in there. I think that's a nice way. Yeah, on Facebook I always write a little kind of intro about the post, then do a link to the post, and then upload a separate photo. Yeah. So it comes up nice and big on people's home pages. Actually, that reminds me, photos. If you are on Blog Loving, which if you're not, you should put your blog on Blog Loving. It's a great way to follow blogs. It is. The first, the photo they show on Blog Loving is the first photo from your post. So if you are going to choose what your first photo should be, choose your favourite one and the best one that you think of. So always put that kind of at the top. Yeah. That's your headlining picture. Exactly. So if you work full time and you have your blog or YouTube as a hobby on the side, then you're probably thinking, I don't have time to tweet all day about my blog posts, <laughs> which is fair enough. So you can actually schedule tweets and Facebook posts. I wouldn't recommend kind of overly scheduling, but if you want to get a few tweets out th throughout the day, um, I use TweetDeck. And I'm a big Hootsuite lover. Yeah. Lily hates Hootsuite, mm. but I just I like TweetDeck. It's amazing, it's really, really good. Like Lily said, just for the odd kind of tweet here and there, if you're out and about, or the amount of times you're without internet connection for the yeah. day, because you're in a restaurant that doesn't have it and they don't have Wi-Fi, what the hell? And you can schedule Facebook as well. Um, I'm sure there's tutorials online, but it's quite easy. Very easy. One of the best bits about blogging is the comments and kind of just like run with that. The amount of inspiration and ideas for posts that you can get from your readers is incredible. Yeah. I actually find sometimes the comments of my blog especially, like they just crack me up. They actually make me laugh so much. They're so funny. You're such a funny bunch. It's great. So definitely take inspiration from the comments. If something is saying maybe your lighting isn't fabulous. Take that on, it's not a bad thing. Take constructive criticism, it's an awesome thing. Like, yeah. that's how you don't get bitter, get better. <laughs> if you're feeling a bit uninspired as well, take inspiration from offline, from your family and friends. Sometimes your friends will say, will say to me, I just can't get eyeliner right, no matter what I do, it does this, it smudges down my face, and I'm like, oh, that's quite a good idea for a blog post. You know, we get quite involved in the whole beauty blogging community, we forget that we all kind of know a lot about beauty. Yeah. So <laughs> it's nice to sometimes speak to like friends or family who don't know as much and take some inspiration from there as well. We often get asked about how to grow your blog, and I know people get really frustrated that they haven't got many people reading their blogs, but I think it's important to remember that it does take a while, and it's nice to have that organic growth. I think for the first year and a half, like 30 people read my blog 
and you know it just takes a while so although these little things can help just let it grow organically because that's word of way. mouth is amazing yeah. and i think i blogged for about a whole month before even one person stumbled across my little corner of the internet and it, it just takes a long time i mean you've yeah. been doing this for a year no four years <laughs> sorry a year <laughs> You know. No, I've been had my blog for four years. Yeah, and I've had mine for almost four years as well. So it's a long old slog, but if, if, if you really love it, then just keep going with it and yeah. people will start to read. So the main thing to take away from this is just enjoy it. Enjoy having a blog and feel passionate about it and it will come across in Definitely. your content. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little series. Um, don't forget to check out Anna's video today on extra well, vlogging here, tips. On my yeah. face. <laughs> Um, and don't forget to check out the four videos we've already made. We've made a playlist, they're all in one playlist, so I will link that below. And yeah, I really hope you found it helpful, or if you don't have a YouTube or blog, you've just found it interesting. Yeah, we've had like a lot of fun filming these yeah. videos, so thank you for watching. We'd love your feedback on this, and if you have any questions for us, I am at Viviana Makeup on Twitter, and Lily is at Lily Pebbles. Feel free to ask us questions, we'll be more than happy to answer. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week for a normal video. Ooh, <laughs> Bye. Bye! Hi guys, so I'm here today again with Anna, and this Ooh. is our second instalment for our little guide to blogging and vlogging series. So a video